Halloween. It's a really great special horror movie. Really great um, overall movie in general. It's getting a fucking remake. Hello guys and gals, my name is William Clark. And today, I'm going to question all fucking sanity. First of all, let me just talk a little bit about history in terms of the, the franchise. Halloween was a really, like I said, great slasher movie. It started the whole slasher genre. You know, if it weren't for Halloween, it probably most likely wouldn't have Friday the 13th and not for Elm Street and other uh, slasher horror movies and movies that are dedicated to that kind of stuff. Or hell, even video games as well. Um... I think it kind of made like Splatterhouse or whatever. But also, it ranged a lot of sequels, and it's been... Uh, so many movies I can't even keep track. The Season of the Witch is the worst one, by the way. It doesn't have anything to do with the story of Halloween. It could have just been its own damn movie, but no, they had to put the name Halloween on to get the views. It's just, it was like probably the earliest person fucking clickbait. Anyways, so they remade it with Rob Zombie, uh, 2000 something, I think seven or eight, I don't know. I don't know when each movie was made, so, yeah. And now, they're remaking the movie again. So I watched a YouTuber called Dead Meat. They're pretty cool. I love uh, what they do, and they do kill counts and stuff like that, but, you know, they reacted to Halloween. Now, here is my most legitimate question. I actually have two. One is, why? Why would you fucking remake a movie, let alone remake a remake? I mean... Also, I understand it's called Halloween, but, you know, you try to explain that to someone, hey, I'm watching Halloween, which one? Are you watching the 2018 version? Are you watching the Rob Zombie version? Are you watching the OG original fucking Halloween movie from back in the early days? It's like, they could have called it something, like, having left parentheses 2007-2008. Or whatever the Rob Zombie one, Rob Zombie one was made, and right parenthesis, it's like Doom. You know how some people say Doom for uh, Doom 2016. They actually actually put left parenthesis 2016 uh, to show that it is a more or less remake of Doom, uh, of the original 90s version. So if you can do that, why couldn't you do it on Halloween? I guess. I think it's, it's just called Halloween. Now, don't get me wrong, it looks cool. I mean, it looks like something I'd actually watch, because I'm, I'm a humongous fan of horror movies. I love horror movies. My favorite being up on Elm Street. Um, because, first of all, Freddy Krueger has fun with his kills. He plays around with them, and there's a little bit of mind games going on there. Before he kills them. And fun, creative ways, just like Saw, but Freddy Krueger, the idea that you can kill people in their dreams and being a, a dream demon of sorts. That's just what he is, is a dream demon. And you can pull stuff out of your dreams and you can die in your dreams and die in reality. That's that's awesome. I, I like the idea of that. But anyways, we're talking about Halloween, not Nightmare on the Street. My other question is, If they're remaking a remake of this, what, or will they be remaking a remake of Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, any other slasher horror movies, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, I'm just naming some fucking horror movies out there. And I, I don't know about you, but after the 2010 remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, I don't want there to be another one. 
Now, the Friday the 13th one wasn't that bad, mostly because, you know, it's just, it's just a guy in a fucking hockey mask going around the machete killing people, as it should be, you know, and, you know, so that, and he doesn't talk. Now, if Jason spoke like Freddy Krueger, you know, if he was, if he had an iconic voice, which he doesn't even talk at all, then that might be an issue. I mean, because we're all familiar with who Jason is and all that, and all that stuff. But Robert England is Freddy Krueger. He's fucking Freddy Krueger. You know, he will always be Freddy Krueger. And, you know, the 2010 remake sucked. I had to force myself to watch it. I did not enjoy watching it whatsoever. I guess the kills were somewhat cool. But he didn't have the same charisma. He didn't have the same action, the same comedy as Freddy Krueger, you know, from the earlier movie, you know, the, the Robert England Freddy Krueger. Instead, it's whoever the fuck that guy is. I don't even know his name. But he also came back to do Freddy Krueger in, um... What's that? What was that? Oh, yeah, Mortal Kombat uh, 9 slash Complete Edition. And... Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, because Freddy Krueger doesn't talk all that much. <laughs> well, I guess most of it. <laughs> but if it was Robert England, that would be even better. But, my question is, if they're re-remaking, you know, like, like I said, if they're re-remaking a Halloween movie, are they going to re-remake uh, Friday the 13th? Because there was originally supposed to be 13, uh, yeah, 13 uh, Friday the 13th movies. So, if they re-remake Friday the 13th, will that be the final one? Will that be the... Uh, 13th, Friday the 13th movie? I don't know. Or, I mean, because Friday vs. Jason was, was the 12th, I don't know, was the, you know, Jason X. Yeah, the remake was the 12th one. Sorry, I had a little mix-up in my head there. Um, but yeah, are they going to re-remake some other slasher movies? Because, like I said, Halloween was the one that made the slasher movie genre the way it is. It's like George A. Romero, rest in peace, um, becoming what zombies are today with his uh, Night of the Living Dead movie. So, I'm kind of curious, but at the same time kind of scared. Because reboots, remakes, whatever the fuck you want to call them, they're almost guaranteed to never be as good as the original in a lot of ways. And I know Michael Myers doesn't talk much. He just is a guy with a knife going, killing people, you know, like that, and other kills and shit like that. But, you know, just, yeah. I'm kind of curious, but also kind of scared. Like, how many re-remakes are they going... To, everything's a re-remake. Also, the game, Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow. Well, maybe just Red and Blue, I think. I don't know. They're being re-remade for 3DS with the mega bullshit, <laughs> mega evolutions and whatever else. And other versions of Pokemon, and they're re-remaking, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So everything's a re-remake. Now, if it was a remastered, like, you know how they have games on the, mostly, mostly PS3, like God of War, uh, and Devil May Cry, how it's the Devil May Cry HD collection, that would be okay, I guess, to see what it would look like now. Maybe more blood, more gore, more death, more destruction. Because back in the day, the N not NRA, the whatever the fucking movie people are, 
they have to cut down a lot of the goddamn kills in some horror movies because they're apparently too gruesome. That's the whole point of the fucking movie, you fuck Ron. Anyways. That's it for this video. Let me know what you guys and guys think. Uh, as always, if you like this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up sign too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole thing. As for me, I'm kind of nervous. Because whenever you make a remake on something, or uh, even a remake of a remake, it's never that good. As opposed to the original. But it's still somewhat good. The Remember on Elm Street 1 fucking sucks. Just don't, don't. Don't watch it. Don't, don't even bother. Now, if that was your first time or an Elm movie, okay, you might enjoy it. But look back at the original. First one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Forever Jason, uh, and other uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. And then, tell me how you feel about that re-remake of, uh, the re-remake, the re-remake. Nah. Ah, never mind. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, people, and bro -ho.